you know, if I end up with a terminal illness and I need a hospice, I, you know, I, I want to be here. I want to, I want to die here. If, if that's if that's the care that I need, then I want I want to be here because um, it's it's a wonderful place to die. It really is. He was everybody's favourite teacher. Uh, he was the legend, Greeny. Yeah, so I was working at Uplands and we met by the photocopier one day and then uh, we worked together quite a lot and um, we realised we got on so well. We used to do a lot of running together and we also did a huge amount of travelling together so we saw a lot of the world. Every trip we went on it would be like this geographical feature um, so uh, yeah so all the volcanoes and then the world, he loved wildlife and going through the rainforest he just adored all of that. It was a shock but it explained, it explained things, it helped make sense of, of how he'd been um, but I mean at the end of April he was teaching A-level geography and then yeah yeah, by August he'd gone. Yeah, so coming to the cottage hospice, you know, like just knowing that this was the place. So I remember going back to Matt because at Pembury they were so kind. I basically got there at half eight and I didn't leave until I could actually manage to go. So I was probably there for, well, until like sort of six or seven o'clock every evening. And then um, I said, well, I won't have to go home. You know, like if we come here, I won't have to go home. And that was, that was, that was what was great because it was just, Awful for me leaving every evening, awful for Matt when I had to go. And so just, you know, like that we could stay together and I could just move in and, and work was just brilliant. I just went, I'm off. And, you know, because I've, I've actually changed to a school just for a year and um, they were just, they were amazing. And um, it was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm off and I'm <laughs> moving into a hospice. I mean, it's just, sounds ridiculous, but yeah, that's kind of, yeah. And Annette welcomed us in and got us cold drinks and we sat on the balcony and we got a breeze. And it was just, yeah, it, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it was just like just being wrapped up and hugged by everyone here. And I just felt, I don't know, safe is kind of the wrong word, I suppose, when you know what's coming, but somehow safe. I, you don't get lessons. It's not like, this is how you deal with this but you just feel empowered. Um, and the whole way that the hospice, especially here is set, I mean, I don't know about the others, but especially here, you, in some ways you come to terms with it as much as you can. So that when the bubble did burst and Matt died, because I was thinking, I don't want to go home. And I was just like, I'm going home. You know, when Matt died, I was like, right, I'm going home. Um, and actually when he died, one of the things that was amazing which sounds a bit weird, and if someone had said it to me, I'd be thinking, uh, when he died, we stayed in the room with him for quite a while, um, waiting for the funeral directors to come. And the girls cleaned him up, and um, and I was packing up and talking to him, and mum and dad were here, no one left him on his own in the room. And we were packing up my stuff and, um, and putting it in the car. And I knew I wanted to go home, and I just, that was, that was a, a piece of advice that I'd give to people, that if you get the opportunity to spend that time, it just, it helped. And, and what I found is that I, I was better equipped than lots of other people because of here, because I'd had the month to kind of get my head around it, but because I've learned so much just from seeing, seeing the, the, the staff here, just, witnessing how they dealt with it and uh, you know like because sometimes you just think how could they do that all the time and you just think yeah it is an honor and a privilege to to do that and there's they just you learn it's almost osmosis i suppose but you you learn um you learn coping and you learn uh, yeah it, i mean that dying with dignity is is so true it is wonderful and it, it was brilliant for matt and brilliant for me and I want other people to, to get the support and love that I got here um, and it can't happen without fundraising and so I think you should join us at the hospice run in September. Go on, challenge yourself.